Recently, BMW Motorrad decided to replace their hugely popular F650 GS single with a completely new liquid-cooled parallel twin-cylinder motorcycle in an effort to complement the 650's newer, bigger brother, the F800 GS. Simple, right? Well, actually not quite. See, the new F650 actually displaces 800 cc's and is essentially the same bike as its bigger bro, except its four valve per cylinder engine has been detuned to produce 14 horsepower less than the F800. There are also a couple of other differences between the two machines. In an effort to lower this bike by 60 millimeters over the 800, the F650 GS uses different suspension bits. Other differences? This bike sports a single 300 millimeter front disc brake, cast metal wheels, and bodywork that looks a little more at home out on the street, compared to the taller, slightly more powerful F800. So to sum up, what we have here is a 650 sized bike with an 800 cc engine. Got it? Well, Dave Fox gets it. Well, David, here we are in an old pirate cemetery in South Bay, and I thought this would be appropriate because I think if you're an entry-level rider or somebody with a shorter inseam, this bike is going to steal your heart. I agree. It is. Uh, everything it says it's meant to be. Uh, first of all, the, the size of the bike is rather deceptive, and I guess you could compare that to a pirate as well because they are deceptive individuals. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. For someone who is an entry-level or kind of a mid-level mid experienced rider, it's great. I'm short in the inseam, and this bike makes you feel really comfortable and really builds your confidence. Yeah, and I, my first impression when I saw the bike was, wow, it, it's big. And it's, it's a 650, but it's not, not no, a it's 650. Not. You're right. Walking across the yard when I first saw it today, I thought, hmm, maybe that's the wrong bike. But as soon as you get behind the bike and get on the bike, you do feel that confidence because it's very narrow in the seat area. Uh, the tank and the, the molding in the front makes it look large. But once you're on the bike, you don't notice that. Yeah. Now, the motor is actually an 800cc uh, parallel twin. What did you think of the engine? Uh, smooth, um, lots of pickup. It really likes it uh, when it gets up into the 4,000 or more RPMs. Uh, it took a few minutes to learn that uh, because in a lower gear, if you're below 3,000, you notice that there's not much there. But as soon as you get into 4,000 or up, lots of zip. In fact, even in sixth gear, um, lots of pickup from that point. Yeah. Now, um, this bike comes with ABS brakes. How did you find the stopping power? Great. I tried it deliberately in gravel, and it does what it's supposed to do. What, I just love ABS brakes, and it makes this, um, this bike really a, a real value for the money because knowing the price range that this bike sells at, to have ABS brakes and some other features, it's great. Yeah. Cornered well. Uh, again, because it's got a fairly low center of gravity, it, it took the corners really well, and I leaned into the corner enough that it didn't feel as though I was leaving the bike behind. It uh, took the corner really well. What about the transmission? How did you find the shifting? Never once did I have to go back and correct myself. I found neutral, first gear, all the way up through, back and forth. We did a lot of stopping and starting today. Yeah. Never once did I miss, miss shift, so that says something for the transmission. Um, what did you think of the fit and finish? Typical BMW quality finish. Uh, again, the, the color looks great, and just the way they've molded everything looks good. Uh, the the uh, cockpit, cockpit is easy to read. Uh, again, I talked about the extra features you get for the money. You've got electronic gadgets on there, including a clock and a timer. Um, you've got heated grips, uh, all these extra features. The only comment I'd make on the negative side might be the fact that the brake fluid receptacle is a little bit high and so a little bit out of place. But yeah. other than that, the bike flows very, very nicely. So what was your overall riding experience today? Comfortable, fun, easy to handle, uh, very simple, um, really builds your confidence. Uh, you know, I've been an experienced rider for a long time, but it's just neat to, my bike's a heavier than this one, and it's just really fun to ride a bike that's kind of a mid-sized and makes you feel comfortable and confident. Yeah. Well, David, it's only 3 p.m. There's plenty of riding time left, and I know you're just dying to get back out there. Yes, Dave. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity. Good job, David. Thanks a lot.